Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Cusco, Peru, and today we're gonna go on a Peruvian, Cusco, especially Andean mountain food, street food tour. Uh, we're gonna go to some street food carts, we're gonna sample the food, we are gonna eat some of the local, traditional, popular dishes, we're gonna visit some markets. Uh, it's gonna be an amazing day of food, and I'm gonna share it all with you in this video right now. Just a bit of a confession, something to tell you before we start this day of street food in Cusco. We don't totally know what we're doing. We just have a plan. I have a list of some foods I want to try, and we met up with Raul, who is driving us around. But other than that, we don't actually have a plan. We're just gonna drive around, see what we can find, and eat. So, just so you know that from the start, let's get started. We just stopped the car at the corner. This is the first location because Raul spotted that they are serving uh, a very typical common breakfast. Uh, quinoa as a drink as well as apple juice. Hola, buenos dias. Quinoa, how many? Quinoa, tres, por favor. Gracias. I ordered three. Very cool spot on the corner here and mainly what people are ordering is quinoa. It's served hot and warm and kind of thick and quinoa is native to the Andes, native to this region, but this is a perfect way to get the day started in Cusco. Oh wow, oh man it's so good. Okay, it's like kind of um, a little bit sticky in texture, a little thickened but then it has this amazing kind of sweet and sour texture. It kind of tastes like apple, actually. I wonder if they do add apple. Quinoa incluye manzana. Ah, yeah. Ah, manzana y quinoa. Piña. Y piña. Piña. Wow. What? He said apple and pineapple. That's why it has that like tart, beautiful sourness to it. I like how it's... I like how you really taste the apple juice. You really taste the tartness of the pineapple. And then the quinoa just thickens it, adds the protein. Well, this is how I'll be drinking my quinoa from now on. Dude, what a way to have quinoa. Yeah, that, I'm so, that's so amazing, dude. <laughs> Do you want to save from your cup? Okay. Should we try the maca here? Gracias. Maca is like a root. It's known to be a powerful root, a strengthening, strengthening root. Uh, sometimes it's called Peruvian ginseng, and this will be my first time to try it. This is also made into almost like a kind of like a thickened porridge. Mm. Oh yeah, that's sweetened as well. It's thick. It's just slightly kind of woody tasting, but like in a very good way. It's really good too. Really, really good. Almost like vanilla-y too. Muchas gracias. Thank you. That was delightfully warming on a cool morning in Cusco. We're gonna try to search out a dish next called chairo, which is a dehydrated potato soup with meat. Again, we don't quite know where it is, so we're just driving around and searching out the window. Actually, Raul, he knows a place to eat chairo, which is at a market. So we just parked, we're gonna have chairo. The maca and quinoa carts are very, very popular. Just driving around in the morning, you'll just find tons and tons of carts with the, the green and yellow umbrellas. Now that really is like the most typical, the most common thing to consume in the morning. Mercado de Juan? Guancha. Guancha. De Mercado de Guancha. And immediately as you step in here, you can smell the herbs. I think I can smell the huacatay, which is the Peruvian mint. Ah, queremos comer también el rocoto. Rocoto. ¿Tiene el rocoto? ¿Para qué te pique el rocoto ya, papá? No, I mean to eat with a dish. Rocoto. Ay, huita, pasantadito. Rocoto. 
Muy picante. Picante, sí, picante. Make your selection. Ahí está. Acá hay de todo, grandes. Palomos saltando. Gracias. Gracias a usted, gracias. gracias. Uh, Rocoto chilies, which are. They are very spicy. We're gonna buy these for later, for a meal later, to eat with a meal later. Muchas gracias. Gracias. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. We are moving in from the fresh market to the cooked food stands, uh, which is the, there's an entire hall of food to eat. Maybe said lots and lots of delicious food to eat. I'm seeing a lot of caldo de gallina, arroz con pollo, like a lot of different soups and noodles and really hearty looking dishes in the morning. We found a lady who has chairo, she's gonna dish us a bowl. I'm very excited to try it. It is chairo. Or maybe she just has the ingredients for one. Ah, gracias, Chairo. Gracias, muchas gracias. Chairo is a dish that I really wanted to try uh, because it's a soup made with meat, it can be made with lamb, it can be made with beef, I believe. Uh, she said it's made with cortero. I'm not even sure what is cor cortero. Uh, but then the main ingredient of the broth, of the soup, the consistency is moraya, which is the freeze-dried yeah. Inca potatoes, yeah, which are which are mashed up in here to make this soup. Wow, there's so many vegetables. Oh, I think there's there's grains in there too. Looks like barley. Looks like barley, potatoes, vegetable, carrots. Chocolate. The naturally freeze-dried potato is just already like dissolved into there. Oh, nice and corn, a hunk of meat. Let's try that broth first. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. It's like. The freeze-dried potato kind of like thickens it, makes it more like gravy-ish. And the vegetable in there, the vegetable in there is really good. Mm. Almost tastes like sage. I gotta watch my little tail so they don't go into the soup. I'll tuck them in. And then at the same time, it has a real nice meatiness to it as well. And that is again a very warming, warming dish. Do a little bit of seasoning. And this is tomatoes, onions, and those are the rocoto chilies in there. Nice. Add a little bit of this. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that just bumps up the flavor. Oh, you can taste the rocoto in there, that's for sure. That's like a, mm, a little bit spicy, very oniony. Squeeze in some. This is a wonderful Andean breakfast stew. I have no idea what that little chunk is. I still have no idea what that little chunk is. It almost tastes like potato skin. Okay, it's time to dig into this chunk of meat. Mm. I think it's beef. Oh, that meat is so tender. And like what, what's amazing is just it almost kind of eats halfway between a soup and a stew. Because it's hearty, but then like warming like a soup at the same time. That was really good, really like hearty warming again. I actually need to like, I need to take off my hat for a little bit. The, I need to release some of those head, head heats. That was delicious though. And like that freeze-dried potato just like acts to thicken and make it even more hearty. This is a very cool market though, by the way. There's a lot, a lot of good looking food. A lot of good, like the platos tipicos, the typical plates of Peru and then also of this region. It's just a small, low-key, relaxing market. And then at the front, there's all lots and lots of herbs. But you can so vibrantly smell the wakatai. It smells so good. And maybe some other herbs mixed in there as well, but it is wonderful. As we've been driving around Cusco the last few days, I noticed on kind of the side of the mountain, just going up just a little ways, there was a lot of food stalls. That's where we're headed next. I saw...
next place we arrived up the hill a little bit and there's on the corner there's a number of food stalls each serving a different dish uh, this is what I remember seeing driving around this area the other day so we're gonna stop here to see what they have es con papa, este coliflor, habas Gracias. Buenos días. Hola. Okay, cool. Well, she's serving a dish called abas, which I'd never really heard of, but it is a, kind of like a stew, she said, with potatoes and cheese, and it looks like there's carrots in it served with rice. Um, and that's the main dish that she's serving for lunch today. It looks like a, almost like, yeah, like a mashed potato, cheesy, with rice. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. It's like, it does taste like cheesy mashed potatoes. Oh, she said there's cauliflower in there too. Mm. So you taste that, like, it's not as thick or starchy as just pure mashed potato because there's cauliflower in it. Mm. Or maybe that is just like ground cauliflower. Slight cheesy taste. That is good, but it will be even better with some of that onion, um, rocotto, chili mixture on it. Picante? Picante. Okay. Si, picante. Picante. A little bit of the onions, rocotto, and looks like there's some cilantro in there as well. Mm. Oh, with that chili sauce, that's great. It's not too spicy, but it tastes like vinegared chilies, like a pickle, like vinegared onions. It's pretty good. Yeah, that is a simple, hearty, delicious, actually with the peppers, so nice and crunchy. And the onions, nice and sour, a little bit spicy. This one is her homemade mate, which is a, uh, mate just means any type of tea. It smells like kind of sweet smells. Kind of smoky, kind of herbal and fruity at the same time. It's warming too. Like all the food is warming here, which it needs to be. Something that I like that I really notice here is how blue the sky is, that contrast. And now it's the, the sun is shining, it's bright. The blue just like stands out. Okay, he's backing up. <laughs> Muchas gracias. A usted, gracias. Muchas gracias. Ciao. That was like a simple but very tasty dish. And like, I liked how the cheese wasn't overly strong, so it will be careful of slipping. We're gonna go back in the car and just down the road, there's like a big pork market. But we're looking for this one very common local dish that includes a lot of pork. Uh, Raul said they should have it near to the market because of the pork supply. <clears throat> That's a pretty serious curb to jump up. Okay, we found a restaurant that serves adobo. Hola, buenos dias. Caldo de cabeza, pollerita, adobo también. Adobo también. Immediately step into this little restaurant and the aroma of meat is is very present. It's very present in here. It is wonderful. It's like a meat, meaty. a meat room. <laughs> We got our bowls of adobo. This is a dish I really wanted to try. I was not going to leave Cusco without trying this. Um, adobo in Peru, in Cusco, is a dish that it's very porky. 
and it's cooked with chicha, which is a corn beer. And so she scooped it with us. There's chunks of meat in it. There's an entire rocoto chili in it. There's onions. You smell the aroma, kind of like a, almost like a little bit of a sour aroma to it. It smells incredibly good. Um, you eat it with bread. Wow, I cannot wait to try it. That again looks hearty, rich, and meaty. Dude, that's like an entire pork chop in there. That is awesome. I'm gonna just try some of that soup broth first. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. Dude, it is so good. <laughs> that is pure. Yeah, pure that tastes like. Oh my gosh. Okay. It tastes like liquid pig, but at the same time, you do taste that kind of like corn beer in there. Like a little bit of a sourness, a little bit of. and a milkiness. Okay, this is one of my favorite, like, soups so far in Cusco, for it without a doubt. Mm. It's almost like as thick as like potato soup, but Ew. just meatiness. It's milky, milky too. Oh, that's, that is wondrous. What's also amazing about this is the chunks of pork, like that's an entire pork chop just swimming around, just swimming around in my bowl. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that is tender. That is tender and like ultra flavorful. Oh, wow. This is like a pork lover's soup dream. You can tell that that has been stewed down, cooked down for a very long time. I'm gonna season though now. A little bit of lime juice. I'll add a little bit of that fresh rocato. A few slices, but without the seeds, it's usually quite sweet. But we do have, a, I can't wait to try that whole one, that whole stewed one as well. And then I'll grab some of this bread to eat with it too. All right, what's the strategy here? Maybe soup, then chase with the bread, or maybe, maybe just dunk at the same time. Mm. Mm. Yeah, without the seeds of the rocoto, it's not that spicy, but it is really like sweet and sour. The pork chop, man. I love how it's just a whole chunk of pork chop. Mm. Mm. Oh, the meatiness. Okay, I'm gonna try the garocoto. Okay, you can feel some heat on that. Wow, and I didn't even make it to the seeds. Okay, even how long it's been boiled, that has some heat. Mm. Mm. But the flavor of the rocoto is just like amazing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's spicy. Oh. Wow, that rocoto is properly spicy. Yeah. And there's so many onions in here too. Okay. Need some more of that chili. Oh, that's the seeds. My nose is starting to run. Mm. These chilies are incredibly, incredibly good. Properly spicy. Wow. And when you get to the seeds, oh man, that just lights your mouth on fire. I'm just gonna rehydrate it though. Ugh. It is fire. I can't feel my face right now. Wow. I gotta take off my hat. I need some, I need some air on my head. <laughs> Ooh, sorry about my messy hair. I can't even like, I can't even fully think what I'm doing on the video. Yeah. Those rocoto chilies are, they are serious. Serious. <laughs> 
I'm sweating at 10 a.m. It's delicious, but it is maximum. That is joy, just chili joy. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm a little high. <laughs> Anis or pisco? Anis pisco más o menos. Ah. Para matar chancho. Oh, para matar chancho. Gracias, gracias. <laughs> oh, awesome. Cheers to the three of us. Oh, I'm a little shaken up. <laughs> I feel amazing. That was just unbelievable. An unbelievable dish. An unbelievable rocotto. As we were crying <laughs> and finishing up the soup, um, Auntie, she really warmed up to us at first. She wasn't sure why we were even coming up, but she really warmed up to us. She's really smiling at us now, especially after watching us cry from eating that rocotto. But then she poured us a, a little shot of, I believe it's anise y pisco. Anise y pisco. Ah, anise and pisco. Dude, let's, Here, this let's, is for the digestion. Cheers to Raul yeah. also. Gracias, he, Raul. he understood Raul what we were looking for like real quick. This is a beautiful place. Cheers, this is for the digestion of the pork. He said like <laughs> he said otherwise the pork will, <laughs> will like, it won't uh, go down. Porky adentro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uno más. Uno más. Porco. Hay porky adentro. <laughs> <laughs> that is the coolest expression of greasiness that I've ever seen in my life. Okay, we better take the, the digestive Cheers, man. shot. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, it's not too strong, but it just kind of like, it mellows out the chest like immediately. That washes the, the porkiness down. <laughs> Muchas gracias. That was... That was really incredibly good. And the entire dish. Really, that's one of my favorite dishes so far in, P in Cusco. That, that was like a moment of porky, fiery happiness. That was a little peak of joy right there. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. What a spot. Okay, listo. Okay, thank you. Gracias. Stretch after that one. <laughs> oh, wow. This is the little spot. I don't even think she has a name on here, but this is the sign. These are the dishes that she had. Oh, dude, cabeza. That's what the other lady was eating. The head. The head, but I'm not sure which animal. It looked like a goat. But that adobo, that was just spectacular. Oh, oh. oh my knee. The combination of that adobo, rocoto, and the shot, that trifecta has warmed me all the way to the insides to the point where I need to I need to do away with my jacket. Wow, what a dish. As you start to approach the market and the historic center, it just starts to get busier and busier. Oh, yeah. People people are selling things, people are shopping. Like It's so vibrant, it's so colorful, it's so energetic. The San Pedro market really is in the heart of Cusco, in the center of the old historic Cusco. And it's, it's a place you have to explore when you are in Cusco. The culture, the vibrance, everything coming together. But we're gonna go into the market the official part of the San Pedro market because they have a whole food court in there and we re I really wanna, there's another dish I really wanna try that I don't wanna leave Cusco without trying, which is this, it's called, it, we'll, 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 we'll get it first, but it's this bean that's actual, it's actually poisonous, um, but they give it a process and have an, the ancient Incas discovered how to eat it. And then additionally, it's not just a market of food, but there's like everything you can buy here from souvenirs and clothes to local handicraft products. Uh, and then we will be coming up on the food section, the fruits, the vegetables, and the entire food court section. But this is a market you can get everything here. And then to the section where there's all the dried products, the coffee, you can buy maca, you can buy chia, you can buy uh, quinoa. So much good food in the back of the market, just a huge food court. And they're serving basically every dish you can imagine. 
Oh man, it looks amazing. Ah, Demi. Sopa de trigo. Sopa de trigo. Reveto, milanesa. Tarwi. 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 Tarwi con. Con. Tarwi con pescado. Con pescado. Ah, okay, so tauri is like a it's like a side dish and they can also make ceviche with it but then we saw she has it on her menu here she has a number of different dishes and you can choose your main dish and then tauri on the side so I got that milanesa which is milanesa de pollo which is like a fried chicken cutlet which I haven't tried yet so far so this is a good opportunity with some tauri on the side <laughs> Tauri. And just reading what Tauri is, Tauri, it's a species of lupin, which is grown mainly in the Andes. And it says it has a little bit, it's very nutrient rich, but it has a little bit of a bitter taste. Wow. That is like, mm, mm hmm. Maybe a little bit bitter. Not too bitter though, but it almost has a. Um, like a slight anise taste to it. It's good. And it's not really beany, but more like nutty almost. Okay, let's try the milanesa with it. A deep fried chicken cutlet. Oh, I think she, we got a little fry in that bite too. An extra, that was a bonus fry. Muy mm. rica, mm. muy rica. Milanese is delicious. Just a fried chicken cutlet. Yes, this is what we needed. This this ahi is with the again with the rocoto, rocoto, the onions and the and maybe I think mostly just rocoto and onions. Yeah. Add a little bit of this with one a, a little bit more of that milanesa. It's a very thin piece of chicken. And the tauri acts acts like a sauce here. That brings out the flavor. The onions, the locoto, all the, all the bananas. That really adds to it. Mm. That's delicious. Oh, yes. Decided to just move down the line to the next stall. It's just, this is a food paradise. There's just stall after stall of delicious food, local plates, lunch plates. It's affordable, it's delicious, it's freshly cooked. Another dish I wanted to try is the trucha frita, which is a fried trout. Oh yeah, you can see that color. It's almost like salmon, it's pink. It's been a long time since I've had trout, actually, to be honest with you. With fries, with rice, with salad. An onion just fell off. Oh yeah, that's good. Salted and maybe coated in a little bit of flour before it even being fried. Um, and that's just good fresh water fish. Really good. And then remember that chili we bought, the rocoto at the at the market. That other rocoto at the when we ate the adobo, that almost like that did us in for like an hour. Like I had to take a break from chilies for an hour, but I think I think we are ready again. You know what, like, yeah, the tip of the rocoto, it's not that spicy, it's actually sweet. Just a little bit spicy, but it's so flavorful. But when you get to those seeds, when you get to the seeds, pero, rica, si, 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 dulce, dulce, pero esta es muy, muy picante, muy picante. Yeah, it's just like, it's actually really delicious, like a bell pepper, like a, like a, a 25, 100 times strength bell pepper. The, the top part of the chili is like the calm before the storm though. It's just you like sweet and up. mellow. Yeah. It's so good. But then you get to the you get to the seeds. Wait for the seeds. With some of the fries, some of the trout, a little bit of everything in this bite. Okay. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> We're getting closer to the seeds. Oh, 
she tip my tongue and immediately feel your tongue like bubbling up a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, that's gonna be that's okay. gonna be a scorcher. That's a that's oh, a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cheers with the same chili cheers. With these you don't even need to do your own. I felt like fumes going down my throat on that bite. I'm gonna chase that with some some trout. We gotta, we better keep it going. Yeah, I wouldn't have it any other way but that. <laughs> mm. Wow. <laughs> Picante. Here's the, the trout head. I think you can just eat the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I think we need a, a fruit shake after that, Okoto. Wow. We need a fruit shake. Aguacate con mango. Aguacate es este. Aguacate. Ah, palta, palta. La, la palta, la palta con, con mango. Gracias. It's also pretty cool to sit here right in front of the pile of fruit full of bananas and drink. That's wonderful, just pure avocado and mango. Oh, that's wonderful. Nothing added but water. Oh, that's really good. Perfect combination. The creaminess of the avocado, the sweetness and tartness of the mango. That's exactly what you need after eating a rocoto chili. Wow. Mm. What's an interesting here is that it's like fruit from around Peru. Definitely some jungle fruit, some higher elevation fruit, some, oh, because of the diversity of Peru and the elevations. Yeah, it's a beautiful market. You can get everything here. And what's amazing about this market is it's just right in the center, historic center of Cusco. You could spend hours just walking around this market exploring, especially the outside areas, the inside areas, eating around. There's one more dish that's like, again, it is an absolute must thing to eat when you are in Cusco. And we're gonna hopefully find it on the outside of the market here. Ah, los ricos chicharrones. Y hola, buenos días. Y chicharr How, hola, man. How are you? I'm fine. You're from Thai, right? Yes, it's not yes, spicy, yes. you can't. It's Muchas gracias. Yeah. Wow. Right place. Look at that. That is a dedication to the pig. Oh, oh, oh I like Tight. how they, they serve no here. silverware with a dish like this. I like that. Yeah. She is awesome. This little spot is very cool. She has the pan of like <laughs> eternal simmering pork juice fat um, and then the pieces the chunks of pork and so then when you order she takes a plate she adds on some salad there's like mint and onions in there and then uh, some of the corn the choclo looks like and then on goes a generous helping of fried pork topped with some fried potatoes and even the potatoes look like they are fried in pork lard oil as well oh, let's scoot these good oh, the skin <laughs> Dude, there's everything with skin. Look yes. at that chunk. I'll go meat. Meat first. It's connected. Oh, look at that. I think I've seen a pork chop today already. <laughs> cheers, man. Chicharron, cheers. Mm. Yeah, it's so good. Just like salty, deep fried, 
slow fried pork, so it's salty. That's delicious. That's just pure oh, skin yeah. fat. You want to try that? Oh, you've got one too. <laughs> Inch of skin. <laughs> it's so soft and gelatinous. Oh my gosh, that's fatty. Mmm. Mmm. Those like have a crunch to them and then a milkiness that comes out as you keep chewing. And then some of the potato. Check out the cross section of this potato. Mm. Oh yeah, the potato is awesome. Mm. You can definitely taste pork on the potato. And then the inside, it's starchy but silky at the same time. It's so starchy I can't laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or oh, is that actually there? <laughs> What's in the green bottle? Could this be some aki? Is that aki? Ah, okay. Perfecto. It is what we needed. I will use that piece of pork as a little base for some aki. Oh, nice. Oh, the green variety. Nice. Mmm. Do the wakatai, wakatai in the ahi, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Definitely you can taste the wakatai. That is like the single herb flavor that I will remember Cusco by. I think I need to balance that pork with some of the onions. <laughs> We're thinking about one more idea. Because this is the final plate of food for the day. We're like, we're capping out of this Cusco Peruvian street food tour after this plate. Yes. It's almost a little, they are kind of intimidating. <laughs> mm. Every time the juice like explodes. Okay, got a bunch of seeds. I'm gonna immediately chase with some pork. Cheers, Peru. You have been very good to us. <laughs> that was great. came over next to Plaza de Armas. This is the historic center. The Spanish colonial architecture, the, it's just incredibly beautiful here. It has this feel to it that's unexplainable, but it is Cusco. This has been an amazing Peruvian street food tour of Cusco. I uh, met some great people, had some delicious dishes. I would have to say that the adobo was my favorite dish of the day, one of my favorite dishes in Cusco. If you haven't already seen my entire Peru food and travel series, I'll have the link in the description box below. Uh, you can check it out. There's, we've had some amazing, incredible food in Peru and I want to say a huge thank you for watching today's video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave a comment below I'd love to hear from you if you're not already subscribed click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon that way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish thanks again for watching goodbye from Cusco Peru thanks again for watching see you on the next video